guys, welcome back to episode two of Jacqueline Eats. If you're watching a recording of this, this is my second episode. If you're watching it live, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, but I'm trying to be calm. Um, if we went to high school together, you might remember me uh, freshman year of high school when I got so nervous during a speech that I walked out of the classroom, could not get myself together. Um, but you also might remember that sophomore year, I rocked my speech about um, driving. So I'm just trying to channel that energy and feel that confidence tonight. But knowing that you guys are there, um, if you give me some likes, I can see it on my computer right now. So hopefully you're enjoying this. Um, yay, there's some viewers. Hey Frankie, I can see you're watching. Thank you, I appreciate that support. Okay, so the past week, um, we finally got back to Atlanta. No, my kitchen did not change. I was at my parents' house in Chicago. We're back in Atlanta, so we have a little bit limited space. Um, so I'm gonna do the best that I can. But I also wanna talk about, I've been reading this book. Hey Frank, thank you. Um, I've been reading, reading this book the past week. My goal is 10 pages a day. I haven't quite done that, but that's okay. I'm all about imperfection this year, doing the best that I can. But one of the things I wanna talk about that I've been reading about is um, the small daily habits we do every single day and how those add up to big changes. So we were watching the uh, Shark Tank the other day and one of the entrepreneurs said she was an overnight success and she was just so proud that that's the American dream and I just cringed because that's not the American dream. Um, no one has overnight success. You don't just lose 25 pounds in one night. Um, you don't just learn to run a marathon in one day. You don't just make $5 million in one day. It's small steps that you do every single day that add up to that. So um, this book, highly recommend it. I'm going to be reading it um, this month along with Miracle Morning just so I can get some extra personal development. Hey Jess, good to see you. All right, so with that, let's get started. So if you've been following me on social media, you know that I love pizza. Um, it's kind of one of the things that got me off track sometimes with um, when I was on a diet because we would get a pizza and I felt like it was an accomplishment to eat the whole thing. Like I didn't want leftovers. I wanted to feel that success of eating a whole thing, which is not a good success to have. But I've kind of come up with a way that I can eat a whole pizza but not lose momentum with eating healthy and feeling good about myself. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can use. Now, we shop at Trader Joe's because it is literally a four minute walk from here and kind of one of the best parts of living in the apartment where we're at. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, use whatever you have at your grocery store. Um, if you have a Trader Joe's that's maybe half hour away, I would definitely recommend stocking up on some of these things, throwing it in the freezer, and then you can have it when you want a single serving pizza. But I mean, obviously English muffins, you can get them anywhere. Um, these, these actually remind me of being a kid and making um, pizza when we were little. Um, so these are super awesome. And I like Trader Joe's just because the ingredients are pretty simple. I would count one English muffin. If you're using 21 Day Fix, I would count one as a yellow. Um, I found these at Trader Joe's, Pita Bread. Um, usually other brands kind of have a lot more calories and a lot more ingredients. These are pretty awesome. I would count these as a yellow. And then they also had whole wheat ones. Um, this is just a half of one. And I would count this as like one and a half. This is my favorite, and I know they don't have it in Illinois because I'm a crazy person. I went to like three different Trader Joe's in Chicago in the suburbs, and I know they don't have them there. So if you come to visit us in Atlanta, we will get a whole bunch of them that you can bring home and you can freeze. And then these, I know that they have these at other grocery stores. Um, I found these the other day. They're just sandwich slim, slims. Um, what I think is awesome about them is there's like 100 calories so I would even go ahead and say that you could have like three, like if two slims make up one whole one, like one and a half or three, you know what I mean. Um, and then count that as yellow. And then you can make three different pizzas, which is kind of awesome. So I have some of these, let me grab them. And I'm gonna show you how to make a couple different pizzas. Um, this is super awesome if you have kids. Um, kids love making pizza. I mean, getting to put their own ingredients on what they want and just having it all out there for them, super easy. And then if you like mushrooms on your pizza and your kid doesn't, that's totally fine. 
Um, so I have a couple vegetables and a couple different sauces. So you can definitely use regular tomato sauce, marinara sauce. Um, I try to look to see that it just has like tomatoes and spices. Um, it might have a little bit of oil, a little bit of sugar, but try to look for basic ingredients that you can actually read. I'm gonna make today a vegetable pizza, um, a barbecue pizza, and a buffalo chicken pizza. And Jameson right now is circling our kitchen, so you might hear her. So we're gonna start with ranch dressing. So I said in the last episode, not the best ingredients, but my rule of thumb is if you're not using a whole bunch, um, it's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna do ranch dressing and I would even just count this, if you're doing 21 day fix, count it as an orange or a teaspoon. Um, it's mostly oil, so a lot of like these, like ranch or um, I don't know what other salad dressings, they're mostly oil and egg and that's how you make, it's like mayonnaise based. So, this here is actually some leftover chicken that Paul made. It's just like chicken with um, salt and pepper and then some frozen vegetables. So I'm gonna put that on here. So if you're someone that doesn't really like leftovers, this is an awesome way to use up those leftovers. And then I'm gonna get in there and just tear up that chicken. And you can see there's not really a ton. So if you're doing 21 day fix, um, I wouldn't really count this. Like that's not very many calories that are on there. Um, I might throw some fresh peppers on there. Um, we have some onions and then our cheese over here. I'm gonna wait on the cheese till the end. Um, this is the pita. So what I found really awesome about this is you can actually slice it in half. So you can decide if you like really thin pizzas that come out really crunchy, you can slice it in half and then you can have two pizzas, which is pretty awesome. Um, or if you like something a little bit thicker, you can go ahead and use um, a whole one like this. So for this one, I'm gonna use barbecue sauce instead of the ranch. Um, for the barbecue sauce, I would count that as probably a yellow, mostly because barbecue sauce is just like sugar. Um, I would count that just like as a serving of carb. I would guesstimate this would be like a fourth of a yellow. Um, like I said, I am not trying to be perfect about any of the food that I'm making. Um, I just guesstimate and I'm honest with myself. If I have barbecue sauce, um, I try to watch how much sugar I'm having, so I probably won't have sugar in my coffee or um, chocolate chips in my oatmeal. Just try to, you know, don't go overboard with stuff. So, yeah. And then I might throw some extra pep uh, onions on there, tomatoes, and then cheese. And then my favorite, the lavash bread. Um, we're gonna do buffalo go chicken. And so you can see, like, we made, are, I'm making three different um, pizzas using just this. Put a little bit extra on there. And then smooth that out. This one was really good. I made this the other day to practice just to make sure it tasted good before I told you guys about it. Um, but the lavash bread is my favorite. I actually made this because um, I'm a crazy person. I brought home like eight of these. Um, and I wanted to give them to friends when I was in Chicago, but I completely forgot about them. And they sat in my dad's office um, and we used them for like a belated Christmas and I made a bunch of like appetizer pizzas and they were a hit, like everyone liked them. I think everyone liked them. Everyone ate them, so hopefully you like them. Okay, um, and then I might throw some extra this, maybe some tomatoes, whatever you want. Whatever you would get at a restaurant, um, whatever you would get when you were ordering a pizza, you can recreate those things and then you can watch how much you're putting on and um, avoid all of the like nasty ingredients that you don't know what's in there. Okay, so now here's the tricky part. Um, if you're like me, you love cheese. Um, we used to get tombstone pizzas and then put our extra cheese on it to make it extra cheesy or order pizza that had extra cheese. Um, our bodies don't really need dairy, it's delicious. Um, I found that dairy makes my skin break out, so Friday's kind of the one day that I allow myself cheese. And um, I use this container, I don't know how much this is, but this is all the cheese that I will use. Um, so a little bit goes a long way, I spread it out. And this is kind of where you can go overboard. If you're tapping this whole pizza and you're covering it with cheese as you would at a restaurant, that's kind of like where you're gonna go overboard. So use the container, be frugal, 
Watch what you're eating. I promise you it'll still taste amazing. And yeah. All right, I'm not gonna cover these. You can get the idea. Um, and then the last thing I kind of like to do is take some spices because I'm all about Italian spices and just topping that. I feel like it just gives everything a little bit of oomph. All right, so we got our pizzas. Now we're not done yet because you can see there's like a couple handfuls of vegetables on here, but it's not really enough to count as a serving of vegetables. So like I said last week, I try to eat six serving, servings of vegetables in a day. Um, anytime I have pizza, I have a side salad with it. Or if I'm not having a side salad, I'm having um, roasted vegetables with it. Roasted broccoli, roasted um, cauliflower, whatever. So I'm doing the same thing as I did last week. And you can see, like, if I have all of these ingredients chopped up, I can basically use the same ingredients that I used on my pizza for my salad. So if you hate chopping vegetables, if you chop a bunch, you can use them for different things. And you can use your leftovers. So, again, um, I'm going to guesstimate. Or, uh, I'm sorry, rather, mix these. So I have tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, peppers, and onions. Um, I also have artichoke, I might throw that on there. That would be good on a pizza too. And then for my protein, because I didn't really put very much protein on there either, um, I would, I like using garbanzo beans and then I might pick out some chicken from here. And I mean, you can warm that up or eat it cold, up to you, and put that on there. I like to mix just to get more flavor. Um, and then throw that on there. All right, so let me move this stuff out of the way. So again, one bedroom apartment, this is what we have for our counter space. So let me move this stuff out of the way. And then the magic of television, or I'm sorry, the magic of Facebook. We have some pizza here. So I always, oh, that's the other thing. I always put a salad in its separate bowl because if I try to fit a salad on here, if you can show that, if you try to fit a salad on here, you're gonna have a side salad like that, and that's gonna be probably half a cup of vegetables. So if I put a salad in its own bowl, it has its own place, I'm going to eat that. I'll put salad dressing on it, um, probably two tablespoons, probably put some more spices on it, and then I get to eat this whole thing. And because I'm making it one at a time, I can't have um, three of these. I'm not gonna get up and have three of these. This salad is going to help fill me up, and I'm still getting to have this treat of pizza. Um, and so obviously this one I think kind of looks the best, but we did have these and they were pretty good Like if you don't have lavash bread use what you have if you are gluten-free That's awesome. You can still find like gluten-free bagels gluten-free um, English muffins Whatever you have and just top it like pretend you were a kid think about what you used to have when you were a kid and just um, Try that stuff out. So Today I taught you how to make a single serving pizza. I hope you liked it. Make sure if you make this to actually have some vegetables with it. Um, and let me tell you about what's going on the rest of the week. So I am, I just finished up my free group on Friday. Tomorrow, Monday, we're starting our ongoing January group. But I also have another free group coming up. So if you didn't get a chance and you wanted to um, see what, what this is about, like what I'm always talking about, it's just a space for women that are working on similar goals even if losing weight is not one of your goals for 2017, it's just a positive space um, to lift each other up. A lot of the stuff that I've been working on is more personal stuff, inner, like mental, emotional things um, that has helped me just get better at life. And that's really all it's about. So that free group is starting, oh goodness, January 23rd to the 27th. It's free, you can invite your friends. Um, and then, yeah, so the last thing is, I'm trying to come up with like a good name for this. I'm thinking about Jacqueline Eats, um, but I also want to have like a really good sign off. So I'm going to practice a couple of them. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And then if you're like, no, I don't like it, you can just say, no, that's okay. So the, um, I was thinking about Stay Classy San Diego. So give me a like if you like that as a sign off. If not, that's okay, let me know. Let's see if it'll show up live. All right. Okay, here's this other one I was thinking about was, um, this is Jacqueline Eats. You just saw an episode to live life imperfectly consistent. I don't know, I gotta work on some things. Um, what was that other one you thought of, Paul? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. 
So we're just trying some stuff out, but I would love your suggestions. And then anything else you want to see um, me make, if you saw something on my Instagram that you wanted to see, or you're like, I'm really struggling with snacks, I'm really struggling with getting my kids to eat these different things, just let me know. Um, but I think that's it. Thanks, guys.